Now it's time for us to get a first look and a first drive of a brand new model. Yes, it's the fifth gear team test. This week, the team tested the Cupra Ateca. The Ateca is the first model since Seat's sports-oriented division Cupra became an independent sub-brand. It claims to offer practicality, four-wheel drive capability and rapid performance, and at less than 40 grand. It is an alternative to more expensive hot SUVs from Alfa, Audi and Jag. Gentlemen, this is the new Cupra Ateca. No, you mustn't say say it because there's no say it badge on it. So How are you carrying on doing that when he's <laughs> looking like oh, that? I can put see a what small you're... piece of tape across my eyebrows, and now I'm different. <laughs> which is why this is nothing like a Seat at all. I applaud somebody who tries something new. However, what Cupra should have done is make a fundamental new car. And that's the problem here, because there's also a cheaper, identical-looking, though less sporty, Seat Ateca. It just looks like a cut-price superhero breast badge. <laughs> I quite like this. I think this car's got good looks. Look, the car's all right. The branding's just lies and weirdness. weirdness. I'm still Johnny Smith, for goodness sake. You knew, knew it. This has got some proper performance. Not 62 in 5.2 seconds. Which is exactly the same as the Honda Civic Type R. 300 ponies under the bonnet. Yeah, so it should be pretty punchy. It's not a stay out because they tell you it's not, and it's more sophisticated, it's more sporty. So why? In the light, does it say? Oh, what does it say? What does it say? Seat lighting. Seat lighting. lighting. <laughs> I love that. And of course, if you look at the brakes, it has a full ring Audi badge on it. We've had a look at some SUVs, okay? This one actually does have a, a decent boot. boot space. That is a big boot. You're absolutely right. As you know, I have a bit of a bit in my bonnet about why you'd want an SUV. A fast SUV. That's because he can't see the big picture ever. Grumpy Johnny. I just, I'm just interested now in having a lovely time. <laughs> and then we got inside. I think it's unbelievably drab. Boring, not different, not what I want from your performance brand. I want colours, I want textures, I want reflections. To be fair, there's a lot of room back here and I love the pan roof. The pan roof I do is... love a pan roof. Yeah. Triumphant. Right then, what about handling? So then we went for a drive on the hill route. I drove. Off. <laughs> I do have six buttons to play with in terms of setup. So what have you got? Comfort, sport, right? Off and the road. next one is a little Hang bit confusing because the next uh, setting is the Cupra mode. As a passenger, I didn't really feel the difference. That's not what this is about. See, if you don't like the cabin, you're going to like that. It goes like stink, and I like stink when it smells like that. Oh, oh you. yeah, you. Ooh, it is the best car I've ever jumped. That Alpine route with Vicky behind the wheel, it really gripped. Oh, there you go. Okay. Found some understeer. Yeah. Right, Vicky. <laughs> All right. It felt more like a hot hatch than an SUV. This is the first SUV I've been in that's tickled me pink. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I, I just like what they're doing with this car. I'm going for another jumper. Oh, you're not. Yeah. Donut! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm having fun. What else have we got down on the old control? Off-road. I'm driving. <laughs> we took it off-roading, so Vicky swapped with Jimmy because Jimmy likes off-roading. It's off-road. Is this a good moment to mention that I've never been off-roading in an SUV? We go, go quite... Go, go very gentle road. because of oh. bumpers. I always knew there was going to be a bit of a ground clearance problem because it doesn't raise and drop, and it's got this body kit. I was going slow then. Not slowly enough. No, this needs yeah. creeping. Yes. Give it some squirt. Oh, crumbs, man. So, from my seat, the off-road experience was... Oh, has this got descent mode? Well, I don't know. I'm... Well, it hasn't. Presumably, it has. Yeah. It, yes. It's doing its own thing, it The four-wheel drive system was very clever because you could definitely feel it kicking in and making sure that there was enough traction. So, with the Ateca well and truly tested both on and off-road, what's the scores on the boards for this SUV from Spanish Shores? I'm giving the Super Cupra Ateca 8 out of 10. It goes. I'm going to have to give it, oh, a 7. This is a consumer show, it's not all about me. There's a good market for a car like this, apparently, so I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10, as long as you ignore the badge completely. Which gives the Cupra Ateca a very decent team test score of 23 out of 30. Well done, Sayat. Cupra. <laughs>